Hey, welcome. My name is Radi and I am a freelance web developer and a content creator here on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to walk you through my Qualify setup, talking about the hosting, some of the security stuff that I have in place, how I've set up the domain names, and I'll show you some of the projects that I have on it. And for those of you that are not familiar with Qualify, Qualify is a self-hosting platform that lets you easily deploy and manage apps, databases, and services on your own server. And this is what I basically have. And I'm going to show you how I've set it up and how I use it. So to start with, I'm using Hetzner. And the only reason I'm using Hetzner is because of their pricing. It was quite affordable for the hardware that I managed to get. But to be completely honest with you, you can get pretty much any other virtual private server and you'll be probably absolutely fine. I've used most of the big providers out there and I've never really had a problem. And the last one that I used was AWS. And again, I never really had a problem except the price was much better on Hetzner and that's why I went with it. The server that I'm using on Hetzner, if anybody's interested, is CCX23. It is a dedicated server with four virtual CPUs, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 160 gigabytes of disk space, which I'll probably never use. And this server might be a little bit of respect to what I have on it at the moment. Let me show you the pricing. So if I add the server super quickly here, uh, this is going to be a dedicated one. And this is the one I'm using. So the pricing comes around 35 euros. And the reason for this is because I have a floating IP and also I'm paying for daily backups. Both of the things are quite important for me. The daily backups, it's obvious. If something happens to my server, I can recover it. And also if I recover the server from the backup, I can use my floating IP to deattach it and then attach it to the newly created server that is hopefully going to be working. That's why I have both in place and that's why the price comes a little bit higher than it says in here. And uh, that's pretty much it on the cost. Some of the server security stuff that I can mention here is that I strongly suggest you that you use SSH keys instead of the normal password authentication. And this is purely because it reduces the risk for you to get brute force attack. So make sure you use SSH keys is one of the things I would say. Um, you can also disable the root access to your server. I can show you some of my firewall settings here. So if I go here, firewall. So these are my rows at the moment. And I I would strongly suggest you that you lock down your ports or the ports that you're not using. And for example, here at the bottom, I have a port number that is open, which is 5432. And this is a Postgres database that is open. But what I've done here is I've actually open it only to my IP address, which I'll probably hide. So you can do this. Nobody else is able to uh, connect to it. And my IP address changes all the time. So I actually have to log in from time to time and change it if I need to. But to be completely honest, if you don't need it, just remove it from here and that will be a little bit more secure. I've mentioned the firewall. The other thing that I would mention is fail to ban. I've also installed fail to ban on my server. And this basically bans uh, IP addresses that conduct too many failed attempts to login. And the last thing that I have here on my list is to do regular updates on your server. And that's pretty much it. If we jump to Qualify now, so from here in terms of security, the first thing that I've done is I've set up a custom domain name and I've actually got Cloudflare to give me some extra firewall security. So Cloudflare is actually free. I use it on all of my websites. So I use it in front of my server and then I use it in front of every single website that I have. And that gives you extra security. And also having a cheap domain name on your Qualify is actually great because if you ever need to send a link to a client, which I had to do recently, it looks a little bit more professional. So I definitely suggest you that you get a like a really cheap domain name and just use it. The other thing that I would say is that if you go to your profile, of course, 100% enable two-factor authentication. That's a must and it's very easy to do. And the other thing that I would suggest is to backup externally. So I've already got a full server backup on Hetzner. But what I also do is I backup externally some of my important files like my time and track database, this is being backed every few hours externally to an AWS S3 bucket. Okay, my phone died for some reason, but we're back. So backing up your really important files, databases on an external server, it's very important. And I would strongly suggest you do that. It's pretty easy to do and the cost is minimal. 
So this is another thing that I would suggest you do. Cloudflare Tunnels is something that I have on my list. So basically you can set up Cloudflare Tunnels to securely expose your services without needing to open SSH ports directly to the internet. That's something that you can also do. My stack is actually fairly simple. I use predominantly Next.js, React, Sometimes I'll just use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and then I also use WordPress. This is my overall stack. And uh, for example, here I have my blog, which is my ruddy.dev blog, and this is done with WordPress. So if I go to ruddy.dev, this is done with WordPress, and I'm hosting it on Qualify. There is not much to show you here, but uh, I also have a website called Gear Explorer. This is a personal project that I was learning Next.js. And essentially this is Next.js, Node.js as a backend. And also I have MongoDB database. And this is, let me show you super quickly. And this is basically a kind of like a gear comparison website. You can go to lenses, you can click on one and read about it, see the some of the images and the pricing and so on. I don't actively maintain this, but it was a nice project to do. The other things that I have inside here is under other, I have a some very simple projects that I was just messing around with. Uh, for example, this is my actually gym training application that I actually use quite often. Basically, I go to the gym and I just tick the stuff that I've done. But essentially, I just vibe coded this. And I believe he's just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And you can just take the exercises that you've done. This is just for me again, nothing special here. These are not nothing special. But uh, another thing that I can show you here on Coolify is Glances. So Glances is pretty cool. If you install this service, you can get kind of like a server overview. So essentially, it just tells me what process I have. It tells me the CPU, memory, and the load of the server. And uh, you can just have a look at some of your services to see whether uh, something is using more RAM than it should. For example, I had problems with Next.js um, a while back, and I was able to come here and see how much uh, memory is using and CPU and so on. So this is nice to have. I don't turn it on all the time, but it's here when I need it. And the other thing that I have is Umami, if this is how you pronounce it, is basically analytics. I've set it up on most of my websites and uh, I use it all the time. Uh, the rest that I have is basically my agency website, which isn't out there yet. I need to do some more work on it. Uh, this uses Next.js. I have a testing folder, which I normally add stuff just to test and then I delete them. And sometimes I use this for tutorials like this. And I have my time and track application here, which is probably the more complicated application. It uses a lot of services out there, but I've created the application with Next.js. It uses Node.js as a backend as well. And also it uses, uses Postgres database and Redis database. I could merge them to Postgres, but that's another thing. And this database is backed up to an S3 bucket all the time because this is an important project for me. And the project itself, I'll have to open in private windows. So time and track. So the project itself is a time tracking application for freelancers, creative and solo business owners. Essentially, if you are a freelancer like myself, you can add clients, you can then add projects and then you can track your projects. It gives you a very good overview of how much money you've earned and so on. Uh, this is a software as a service, so it's not free, but I also run it on the same server. And that's more or less it. I hope that I didn't forget to mention anything. Probably not a good way to end this video, but I do want to try Docoploy as well, uh, just to see what it's like. But for now, Coolify has been okay. It's going to be a lot for me to migrate from Coolify to Docoploy, so uh, maybe I'll just try it on another server and see how it goes. If anybody has experience with Docoploy and uh, Coolify, let me know in the comments below what you think of them and uh, let me know of your setup. Is this Does this work for you? I do want to mention that I only use this for personal projects. I never use this on clients' websites. For client websites, I always use uh, kind of like good services out there because I don't want to deal with all the security stuff and so on. Uh, it makes my life a lot easier. And this is going to be everything from this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found it useful. Consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel.